Patreon of Jevo today and receive a ton of perks including Discord roles, early access content, private support channels, code snippets, and more. Join today at patreon.com slash jevajs. Alright, what is up guys? My name is Zul from Jeva. Um, it has been quite a long time since I've made a video and um, this will be an updated guide to how to make a an FX server or a 5M server um, uh, 2020 or in 2020 uh, the last one I made was in 2018 so they have actually updated the process so I will be I will be using this um, this little this documentation here this page to uh, help us or guide us in the right direction if you want to follow this I'll put this link in the description uh, but um, yeah, so let's get started. Um, first off, you want to download Visual C++ Redistributable uh, 2019 or newer, uh, like they say, because if you don't, uh, this will not work. Uh, when you start up the server, you will get an error. So uh, I already have this installed, um, but it's really simple. You just click, you click right here and uh, follow the instructions. And it says to install Git. You don't really need Git. Um, I'll be showing you um, how to install without Git because uh, it really doesn't matter. Um, so let's start off with um, yeah. Let's let's start this off. So I'm gonna put this away and um, let's go to our directory here. Our um, we last this uh, when we did this first time in 2018. We did this. We made a server folder on our desktop, but sometimes some people just have. Uh, like they have spaces in their names uh, which mess up uh, like they have spaces in their directories which messes up the process so I'm gonna be doing this in my C drive right here um, you can do this on other drives it really doesn't matter but I'll just do this on my C drive because I don't really care um, so uh, make sure just in the root of your uh, drive so there's no uh, nothing wrong so I'm gonna create a new folder I'm gonna call it uh, FX server just like that and uh, just like that um, no spaces in the folder name whatever you can call it whatever you want just don't have any spaces or symbols that could potentially ruin it so what we want to do now is go to the artifacts server right here I'm gonna click right here and uh, I'll put this in the description too if you don't want to click on that. Uh, so uh, download the latest recommended I have this or I'm downloading it right now and I'm gonna let this open up. What you wanna do is actually just copy this all into here. Yeah, just like that. And uh, now what we wanna do is we wanna go, I'll just bring this back. So once that's done copying, I'm gonna close out of that into the FX server folder. We wanna clone the CFX server data master, so I'll click that, I'll put this in the description. Uh, so what they say right here, they say don't uh, make sure to clone it and don't download a zip. Uh, they say it's it'll make it harder to update new versions. If you want to clone it, you can go ahead. But uh, I'm just assuming uh, some people don't have uh, Git, so I'll just be downloading the zip. And plus, they don't really update it that much, so I don't really mind uh, if it wants to do that. I'll just do download zip. And uh, once that's downloaded right here I'm gonna open that up and I'm just gonna drag this folder right here make sure you have the WinRAR installed or whatever 7z uh, doesn't matter uh, just make sure you can open up the zip files so I'm gonna put that into there into the CFX server data master this folder will have these contents right here so now what we want to do is uh, we want to make a server.cfg so to do that, uh, we want to go right here into this folder. Uh, make sure you click View, and then right here it says File Name Extensions. Make sure that's checked. So I'm gonna click right click New, and I'm just gonna do Text Document. I'm gonna call it Server. And then when it says TXT, we want to change that to CFG, just like that. And I'm gonna open it up with Notepad. Um, so yeah you can open that with whatever you want so it says to copy the example server.cfg so I'm gonna do that right here just copy all of this uh, I'll put this like I said I'll put it in the description uh, so I'm gonna paste that right there and just save it control s or that 
and you can uh, actually we need to keep this open because we have to go down here and we have to change this uh, right here so to do that we have to um, what's it called we have to go to this website right here keymaster.5m.net uh, they actually say it right here so uh, you want to go here and um, here, let me close that out so uh, yeah you have to actually um, what's it called you have to sign in um, I'm already signed in because I was uh, going over this so to actually click uh, we want to click um, for 5M Keymaster if it's gonna say register if you don't have a form account I don't know why it just didn't sign me out but um, it signed it signed me in so it, it just followed the follow go to keymaster.5m.net sign in or or make a new account it'll it's pretty self-explanatory so I'm gonna click uh, once you're here uh, you just wanna click new I'm gonna create a new key and I'm gonna call it uh, right here tutorial 2020 uh, and then my IP is right here um that is my IP right now if you wanna know what your IP is just google what's my IP right there uh, you should get your public IP address right here or you could go to like what's my IP dot org and find out uh, what your IP is um, so yeah make sure it's IBB4 and not 6 so if it's a bunch of random characters it, that's like I think that'll work actually I don't know so, but right where it says that um, just copy that and then paste it into your key or into the server IP address and then uh, when you want to do server type just click uh, home hosted because I'm doing this on my home or if you're on a dedicated server or VPS just do it it doesn't really matter this is just for organization I'm pretty sure and then just click I'm not a robot and click generate now it says um, <clears throat> it says it's created so right down here is my key for tutorial 2020 what I want to do is copy this go to my uh, my server.cfg and then where it says SV license key I'm just gonna paste that right in there and uh, that's pretty much it for the complicated part or I mean I don't know if it well, if this is complicated sorry but uh, just save your server.cfg and close out of it now we don't need that file anymore or we'll, we'll use it later but uh, now what we want to do is create a um, start file uh, like a starter that'll start the server so what we want to do is click right click new text document I'm going to do starter dot bat right here and I'm going to click edit and then we want to actually what we want to do in this bat file is we do cd and then we do slash d uh, you, you only need this if you're on a different drive I'm on my C drive so I don't really need it but I'm just going to do it anyways so my uh, where I want to I want to CD into the server data, so uh, just click right here. Uh, once you're in your server data uh, folder, just click uh, right here, and then just copy. Uh, that's it, and then you just gotta paste that right there, and then we want to uh, paste that again, but this time get rid of this part, and we want to execute fx uh, server dot exe plus exec just like this just copy me and that server that CFG so it'll execute it with this the server configuration so once that's done we could go to the FX server and then where the find the starter dot bat you can right click and create shortcut and then um, just drag that on your desktop wherever you want and every time you run this file um, it'll start the server so there it is I right clicked or I started it um, it should be doing this and it says uh, the authentication was good so the the key worked and uh, my server I think it's up um, okay so before I join the game I want to just I'm just gonna close this off because I just saw it was working so um, to actually change your server name and whatever we want to open up this server.cfg um, so right here just uh, I'm gonna open this up and you could you can do you can change like a lot of things like if you want web script hook allowed uh, just turn that to a one which is like client-sided scripts uh, if you want to have archon and you know use like a bot or something 
uh, you can uncomment that like that and then put in your password I don't really care I'm not gonna use that for now and then if you want to change your um, your the name of your server you can just uh, where it says SV host name can I zoom this in yes uh, where it says SV host name uh, you can change this to whatever so I'm gonna do Java tutorial just like I did last time and uh, you want your logo I actually have a logo uh, it has to be a 96 by 96 uh, PNG file so I already have that from my the previous server I, that we made uh, I'm just gonna paste that right here in the directory uh, it's called 96.png and you have to make sure it's a PNG and it's uh, the pixels are uh, where is it? can I look for the file info there it is the dimensions have to be 96 by 96 and uh, the, yeah that's pretty much it for that where does it let me change that so where it says load server icon we want to uncomment that and we want to for my logo.png I'm just gonna change it to 96.png because that's what it's called um, what else can we do here um, you can change the uh, the player limit uh, if you want and uh, that's pretty much it for configuration uh, once you want to make resources you can do like start whatever resource I, I think they changed ensure to I think pretty much what that means like ensure these resources to start I guess I don't know but um, you can also set the banner connecting so I, already, I, I actually have these from the previous server uh, I didn't really prepare this but uh, in the previous server folder we have um, I, th I think it's in here somewhere just give me a sec so if you have a um, a link to your banner connecting or your banner uh, detail which is like when you join the server um, I have this right here um, it's gonna be https colon slash slash savar dot net slash z gradient dot png and then my other my banner connecting is https colon slash savar dot net slash the abstract dot png so you can use another hosting service to host your images I have my own web server which opens or which pretty much just does that um, so yeah that's pretty much it for configuration um, I'm gonna close out of this and um, to start the server just click on it again uh, let it load here and there you go to authenticate it I'm gonna open up 5M now. Uh, there it is, and I'll I'll show you how to join it. Um, if you want your friends to join or people who are not on the same network as you, so if you want to make people connect from over the internet, uh, we actually have a video that shows you how to do that uh, with port forwarding, and um, I'll put that in the description too. So uh, yeah, but this is just to how how to set it up and see if it works. So you click uh, direct connect. And you want to do uh, your localhost. You can type in localhost, literally localhost. That should, uh, yeah, that should show up as Java tutorial, which is what my name is in the logo. Or you can do uh, 192 or 127.0.0.1, which is just localhost. Same thing. Doesn't matter. But your friends will have to join off. If they're across the network, you'll have to join with your public IP that we put into that uh, key management thing. Uh, the, the yeah that so this is actually just loading into the server once it loads in I'll uh, I'll cut to that okay so I'm in my server now and um, yeah it's pretty blank nothing going on here um, the scoreboard is or whatever you, the player list is the up arrow by default you can install so many different resources off the forums I'll link that too um, we have videos, you know, about making resources already and installing them, so you can go check those out. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is pretty much it. Um, there's really nothing else that I can cover for this video. Uh, I want to keep it short, so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, thank you, the current patrons that uh, are uh, being a patron for me. Uh, yeah, uh, if you want to become one, uh, I'll put that in the description. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and uh, make sure to subscribe. Uh, I'll be uploading more now. Um, 
So yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching, and see ya.